Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Duke and I'm Duke of Italy and welcome back to another video. I didn't upload any videos this summer, I am sorry about that. It, no, I'm not. I don't really care. It's my channel, no one subscribed to it, so who cares? But today, I'm doing something special and Biscuit's here to join along. Yeah. Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing the entire series is, 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 is of the Alien and Predator franchise, I guess. So let's get down to it. And I'm going to start off with the Predator movie. Now, the Predator movie stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and a whole bunch of other guys from your childhood movies, even though it's not your childhood. Stop it. And, uh, okay, so <clears throat> this movie was pretty good. I'm going to try and keep this video pretty low on spoilers. So if you've never seen the movies, it'll be fine. So. Alright, you can leave. So, for the Predator movie, so, starting off with Predator. Alright, so it starts around Schwarzenegger, and it starts off pretty mellow, but then it gets hectic pretty fast, and I really like this movie, so, I guess I'll give it a 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. So, I saw that one, and then, I expected to spend a lot more time on each movie, but, what do you expect? It's me. Seriously. I haven't uploaded anything all summer. But, <clears throat> anyway, so it was a good movie. I recommend watching it. If you have watched it, watch it again, because I told you to. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay, and then, now for Predator 2. Predator 2 starred Danny Glover from the, those cop movies. I don't remember what it was. But, <clears throat> he just wasn't right for the part. The movie ended up being kind of a flop. Only got like a 20 in Rotten Tomatoes. But, I honestly, I kind of liked it. I mean, not in a good sense, but it gave you a good feeling. It, like, kids might like it, even though it's not for kids. Don't show this movie to your friends. Anyway, so the next movie that was done... Actually, no, this movie wasn't made very close at all to Predator 2, but... It's meant to be a sequel to Predator. But Okay, so... The movie Predators, not a lot of people know about this movie, but it's meant to be a sequel to Predator. A lot of people online think it's Predator 3, it's actually Predator 2. said that in the Netflix description. Yeah, I saw all of these movies from Netflix. That's... I'm a pleb. Anyway, so Predators, it stars... I don't know this guy, but it was pretty cool. Anyway, so this movie, it's a lot more action-oriented compared to the other movies. It, like, it had three Predators this time, so that's... that's cool. Let's see the hand gestures. And it was a lot better than Predator 2. A lot better. It was it was ridiculously better. Uh, it had good action. It had Morpheus from Ma The Matrix. If you've seen that movie, it's all right. So honestly, it's good. And uh, so that's Predators. So overall, the series is not bad because they tried to get make you forget about Predator 2, anyways. So it's overall kind of nice. And there are also some fan movies out there. There was an unnamed one based off World War II. It was only about nine minutes long, but it was pretty good. It was actually a lot more realistic than the other ones, showing how short it was. And there was uh, Predator Dark Ages. It's on YouTube if you look it up. I might have a, I'll have a link in the description. I'll try that. I'll try that. Let's see if that works. But uh, it, it was pretty good. It was all right, but for some reason the Predator had a sword. I, I didn't understand that. Okay, so that's the Predator movies, and then now on to the Alien movies. So it starts off with Alien, and our, we had, I, f I don't remember her name, but one of you knows her, uh, playing Ridley, and there's a whole bunch of people. So it starts off with some guy waking up in, like, cryostasis or whatever, it's called hypersleep. No, that's from Big Hero 6. It, it was something, it was something like that, but they're in a chamber, and they're like that. And it starts off with some bearded guy who, he's cool. I don't know who he is, but he's cool. And so he goes off to do something. And it's, it's, uh, the movie ends up getting pretty hectic pretty fast. And it's overall a really good movie. I'd give it like 9 out of 10. It's, it's, that's, Alien's a good one. And then we have Aliens, which brings Ridley. Is her name Ridley? I, I think it's Ridley. I haven't seen these movies in like a week. That's, that's how much I know. Okay, so it's her again, and she's back with another adventure with the Xenomorph thing, which is the alien in the last movie, which I have not explained. I need a better script than this. 
And this time, there's lots of them, which is probably why it's called aliens. That's clever. But, <clears throat> I don't know, it could be some other thing. They just didn't feel like writing Alien 2. But it was overall pretty good. It had it was more action-oriented, orientated, which made me like it more. I honestly liked it more than Alien. But, I'll be your thoughts. I recommend that one. Then came Alien 3. Now, this one, this is where it started going down even though it sort of sloped up after. Okay, so, Alien 3, it's, it's really, again, more a surprise. And, uh, this time, it's immediately, not really immediately, but it's her story starting immediately after Aliens, crashing on the planet, and then all this stuff happens, and then, coincidentally, there's an alien in there, and there's a big twist at the end. I don't want to spoil it, but, I wouldn't really recommend seeing this one, though, because, it's it's based off of it. There's a jail planet, and it's honestly it's a very dark feeling in the movie. It's less action oriented than Alien, so there's not a lot of expansion, so it doesn't feel very good to watch this one. But the plot is all right, I guess. I don't know. This movie wasn't that good, to be honest. I don't even know what I'd rate it, but it was pretty mediocre. And then there was Alien Resurrection, which I honestly liked. I liked Alien Resurrection, even though that was in the dark ages of movies said by the nostalgia critic. The nostalgia critic. And <clears throat> while this movie was not good, it, it was better than Alien 3. It, it had a sort of okay feeling. There was a crippled guy in it. He was funny. So it was some good characters. Uh, I forget the actor who played that girl in that, but we have Ridley again. Ridley again. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that too much. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. And through the series, it's, there's the most expansion is definitely in Alien, from Alien to Aliens, because we get the Queen, which is this huge alien. That, I'm not going to spoil this, but there's a big fight scene with the alien around the end. <clears throat> and so it all ends up with Alien Resurrection. And all three movies, or all the movies except for Alien, have the Queen in it, so it's not a lot of expansion. In fact, Alien 3 has pretty much zero expansion, except, in fact, it's, it's going back. So they're, I mean, yeah, they're, they're going back. There's no expansion in Alien 3. But Alien Resurrection had two aquatic, aquatic, I guess, aliens, and they, those were pretty cool. I mean, according to descriptions from the internet, they all have, they can all swim, but these were probably the aquatic ones, even though they are kind of slow. And now, I didn't forget about the Alien vs. Predator series. I did not. I'd actually recommend Alien, Re Alien Resurrection, just saying. The huge twist at the end, it's probably the worst part about the movie. I, I'd give the movie a 7 out of 10, but this the twist at the end lowers it to a 5, at least. It's just an awful twist, and it's just so gross. Anyways, Alien vs. Predator. I actually like this movie, kind of. I, it only had like a 20-something on Rotten Tomatoes, but it wasn't that bad. The action was alright. It gave me the chills like three times. Three whole times! Half-Life 3 confirmed. But, <clears throat> I thought my dog was there. But, I mean, the, char the main character is kind of hard to remember. And for some reason, two of the Predators are just meant to be, like, the Predators are supposed to be some sort of master race compared to all of the other aliens, because they can just take out all these guys easy, but yet two of them get taken out by one alien, and I just spoiled that. Oops. It's not really much of a spoiler. It's only, like, 30 minutes of the movie. And then, now, I kind of, like, gave this, some, this movie some, like, leniency on the plot, because it's, like, the aliens aren't supposed to be known about until, uh, alien, of course. And that's way in the future. So, there's all the alien stuff. But luckily, they're all gone by the end of the movie. I'm not going to say how, but they're all gone by the end of the movie. So, and there's only one person to tell the tale. The story. I'm not going to say tale. Tips Fedora. But, <laughs> so, like, it's honestly an okay movie. I recommend seeing it if you have kids or nostalgia factor. Because it's PG-13, and it's honestly the best. It's... it's it's all right. I, I, I liked it more than Alien Three, but and I definitely liked it more than Predator Two. Predator, Predator Two was not very good, but <clears throat> it wasn't the best movie. But it was all right. And then we have Alien vs Predator Res uh, Requiem. This movie 
was awful. This was like Fantastic Four awful. This was... I, I, I just like this more than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Yes, I put myself through the pain of watching Mortal Kombat Annihilation. But, <clears throat> Alien vs. Predator Requiem is just not good. It expands a bit after Alien vs. Predator. It starts just after, even though in the plot it's somehow four years later. Yeah, and it just has so many subplots that you just do not care about. And Predator does not like the humans at all, even though after the first movie you're supposed to sort of like the humans. It's just not a good movie, and it's just crossing so many boundaries that should not have been crossed in any movie ever. Because you see a kid die in this movie, it's, it's really bad. Just don't watch this movie. It's got a funny twist at the end, but don't watch this one. I If you want to watch it, knock yourself out, but I would not recommend this to my worst enemy. This is the worst movie of the entire series. Even Like, the only reason I gave this movie... I give this movie a 2 out of 10. I don't even want to give it a 2. It's because the fight scene at the end is alright. It's medi It's sort of okay, and the final kill by the Predator is just pretty okay. But it's honestly nothing special. It's nothing better to see. Predator 2 is better than this. It, it's got a good feel to it. At least Predator 2 does. But Alien vs. Predator Requiem is just bad. Don't watch it. And then, uh... So that's basically my video. Oh wait, I forgot. There's one more movie. I'm talking about Prometheus. If you guys didn't expect this movie, you haven't seen the whole movie, or you are dumb as... I have no metaphor for that. You were probably the dumbest person alive if you didn't catch most of the easter eggs in Prometheus, because they're fairly obvious. Especially the ending, if you have seen it. So Prometheus is all about this person with some accent. I can't even tell where it's from. It's like England or somewhere. but. <clears throat> She's a scientist and she discovers this thing in a cave about some giant people that lead to the origin of our species. So they end up going to some planet that's super far out, near their own star. It's like a two-year journey. They're all in their sleep state. And uh, so they get there, and then a whole bunch of stuff happens. And it's just it's kind of weird, but it honestly, it was a really fun movie to watch. So I'd recommend that. I'm sorry, guys. I have to stop this one. All right. So, Prometheus. It's a good movie. You should watch it. It ties in with Alien, and it's it's awesome. It's it's it's, I, it's like an eight out of ten movie at least. I rate I, I rate most of the I rate some movies on my Facebook. If you guys are wondering, so just go ahead and look me up on Facebook. Duke Ketchum. That's my name. It's spelled A M. So I um I guess that's it. I highly recommend the series to. Any person out there who wants to join a fandom, it's not a fandom, it's not a fandom, <laughs> we're not that toxic yet, but just go ahead and watch the movies, they're really fun to watch. Uh, watch Predator, Predators, watch Predator 2 if you like a laugh and you like to make fun of movies because that's easy. Uh, go ahead and watch the fan movies, those are high quality stuff. Yeah. Uh, Alien Aliens are good movies, I highly recommend those. Aliens has record for the, the greatest roast of all time. If you just, it's only it's in the beginning of the movie. So just, just hold your horses because this is a good one. And Alien Three, it's I wouldn't recommend it, but if you like the horror movies, it's all right. It's, uh, no. Alien Resurrection, it's you have to see Alien Three to get it, but it's I wouldn't highly recommend it. Alien vs. Predator, go ahead and watch it if you like action movies. Yeah, I don't know why that movie got so bad reviews. I guess because it only appealed to people who saw all the movies and the like action movies, and I'm one of those few people. Don't watch Alien vs. Predator Re Requiem. I know why that movie failed. It was awful. Watch Prometheus. Definitely watch Prometheus. That was a good one. So, <clears throat> overall, I'd give the series an 8 out of 10. It's got some good parts. It's definitely got some awesome stuff in it. They, Alien vs. Predator gave me the chills so many times. It was great. So, just watch those movies. It's, it's a good watch, and I didn't give too many spoilers, so that would be good for you guys. Just watch the movies, and I guess I'll see you guys later. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video, check out my Instagram, do all that stuff, and see you guys in the next video. I'll do it with Etsy.
Bye.